side note before we begin, um, if there's background noise, I'm sorry. It's later in the day, so everybody's home, and we're having company over later tonight. So, like, noise and things. And also, I was sick earlier this week, and I'm still kind of stuffy. And the side effects of being sick, or the consequences of being sick, I don't know. Um, I lost hearing in my left ear, and I have, like, very minimal hearing in my right ear. So, at the moment, I can't really hear anything. So, I can't tell what's really going on out there. So, if it's loud, I'm very, very, very sorry. And I can't really tell how loud I'm talking or how much energy I'm putting behind my words because I can't hear them. So, if any of this sounds a little off, I'm sorry. I'm a little stuffed up. If my voice goes out, that is why. Still getting over this horrid thing that they call germs. Why? Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about a super, super sensitive subject. Something only you can know about. Today we're talking about, come in, come a little closer, a little closer. Ray raids. <gasps> now I know some people do it and some people don't. I am a firm, firm believer in the art of rereading. Rereading is one of my absolute favorite things to do, especially when I'm in a reading slump. But we will talk about that. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you the inside scoop, the inside story, behind the scenes of a couple of the books and a few series that I want to reread this year. Now I kept it to a minimum just because I have so many other books on my shelves that I haven't read and I should probably read before I reread anything. So these are my books. But I won't be mad at myself if I reread other books because I have so many. You know, it's just like the year is a long time. I can read a book this month and then come June want to reread it. It just might happen. So, I'm not going to be mad at myself if I reread because rereading is great. Rereading is glorious. I love rereading. So, let's just get right into the list of the books that I want to try to reread in 2018. Dun, dun, dun. These, I was actually just looking at them and they are literally all from my favorite authors. Which, I mean, makes sense, but at the same time, I was kind of hoping to have, like, other books on there. But I guess that just, like, leaves more doors open for books that I haven't read to be by authors that I haven't read before. Does that make sense? Like, there are so many other authors on my bookshelves that maybe I want to read it, reread in 2019. So, so many open doors and windows and crevices that I can climb through. But for now, the books that I want to reread are by four of my absolute favorite authors. Can you guess who they are? I will give you 10 seconds to guess. Not really, I'm just gonna jump right in so you guys don't have to wait in any agony, but I'm sure you can guess them before I even show them. First, I'm going to be doing the single books, and then I'm going to do the series that I want to reread. So, for the first two books that I want to reread at some point in 2018, there are two Karen Whitmire books. The first one is Head in the Clouds, which I've talked about 
multiple times because <laughs> it is one of my favorite books of all times. And I've reread this book already like two or three times, but it's a favorite, so I have to reread it again. So this is definitely on my to be reread pile. Can we make that a thing? To be reread. 2018. Yeah. So I definitely want to reread Head in the Clouds. Then I also want to reread Short Shop Bride, also by Karen Whitmire. I love this book. This book brings me so much joy. This is another book that I've reread quite a few times because <sighs> Travis Archer guys and Meredith and just it just it's just hmm I love this book I love this story and I definitely cannot wait to reread this book again again in 2018 <laughs> The next author I'm going to be talking about is also single books, not series. And then after this one, we'll be jumping into the series that I want to reread. So, yeah. The first book is The Maid of Fairborn Hall by Miss Julie Klassen. Klassen? I'm not sure how you say her last name. I say Klassen, so... Yeah. Please correct me, whoever knows how to say this correctly. But I read this story forever ago. I can't even remember. I feel like this was one of the books that got me into Christian fiction, like finding it and like finding her. I feel like this might have been one of the first books that I read by her. And I loved this book. I loved the story. The storyline of a girl especially like an heiress or a debutante or something going into undercover because she has to and like putting on airs of being like not the most like, attractive or not the young girl that she is like that kind of thing I love stories like that secondhand embarrassment <laughs> as much as I hate it I live for it because it's so funny, like, I'm not in that situation, so I'll get over it a little quicker. But I definitely love this story, and I definitely want to reread this one. The other book is also by Julie Clausen, and that is The Secret Governess. And I love this book. I've talked about it before, just like Head in the Clouds, and I will talk about it again, just like Head in the Clouds. Because I love it. It's probably one of, like, my, one of my ultimate favorite books. I love this story so much. It took me forever to read it. Oh no, it's falling apart. <sighs> it took me forever to read the story. And I don't know why. But it brings me... So much joy. I just, I loved it. And I'm just like, I, I don't know what to say because it was so good that I just, I want to reread it and reread it and reread it again and just keep rereading it because I love it. I love this story so much and it's definitely something you should pick up if you haven't already. So I'm excited to reread this one again, 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 again. A lot of books that I want to reread, I've already reread. Does that count? Like, to be reread after rereading, to be reread. Pile. Like, again, I reread books, so no shame in my game. What? I'm excited to reread this. This is definitely on my pile. Alright, on to the series. Yay! So, of course, I could not make it through a video, especially a rereading video, without mentioning one specific author. And hopefully you all know who I'm talking about. But if you don't, I will tell you anyways. 
She turned out. She just, yes, girl, yes. I love her. Like, she's just the greatest. And like, she's just as funny. Like, talking to her on social media, she is in her books. Like, it's just great. Later on, later on in the year of 2017, I read the Ladies of Distinction series, which was her first series that she ever wrote, like, her first books that she ever really printed and stuff. And I loved it. It took me a little longer to finish the series than I would have hoped for but at the time I wasn't really pushing myself I just wanted to read it and finish it and I loved it <laughs> and then um her apart from the crowd series came out which is her third series that she's written and I read behind the scenes and don't hate me but I still haven't read out of the ordinary yet it's sitting on my shelf but like, I don't want to read it, and then it's over, and then I have to wait for Caught by Surprise, which is, like, coming out soon, and then it's over. And then I don't get to see Gertrude, and I don't get to see Pramilia, and I don't get to see... What is her name? Temperance. I just, like, they'll be gone. But her new ser series will be coming out, and I can't wait for that one. So... In print, I've read two of her three series. Now, in ebook form, I have already read the series and absolutely died. It was great. But I have yet to read it in print form, which I mean, nothing changes. It's just in print form. But I bought them because I needed them in my life in paper. So, I want to reread the class of their own series i am just rambling on about nothing just to get to this point in this video why those books include after a fashion in good company and playing the part i just i've talked about these books before i'm pretty positive um i've used them you saw them in the happy birthday, Jen, happy book birthday, Jen. I'll insert a card wherever they are above my head um, for that video. I've talked about these books, but the thing is, I couldn't really use them a whole lot because I couldn't really remember, like, the small details of the books. Like, I remember loving them, don't get me wrong, and I remember the characters and stuff, but I don't remember everything and I know that there are tons of antics that made me just fall in love with her writing style because these, these were the first books that I ever read by her. So exciting, I just love them. So I'm very excited to reread that series at some point in 2018. So the second to last series that I'm going to be talking about today if you know me or you follow me on Instagram or anything like that, I love this author. She is actually the author that I have the most of her books on my bookshelf. She is wonderful and she's actually the author that really helped me fall in love with historical fiction. Like I remember my grandma um, took me to her library and she's like, okay, you can pick out a couple book books. These are the authors that I enjoy. So I picked up some books by Janice Thompson. I love her books and I just need to buy more of her books. I don't know why I don't have them on my shelves yet, but that's beside the point. Um, I read Janice Thompson and I read Tracy Peterson and just fell in love with their writing style. I absolutely loved it. Like as soon as I was done with school for the day, I was home homeschooled. So as soon as I was done, I was like picking up my book or before I even started, I was reading. I'd stay up till the wee hours downstairs because I was sleeping on my grandma's like loft pull out bed thing when we were visiting her and I'd just be up reading and like people come and they're like, Alicia, go to bed. The light's on. You're bugging people. So I'm like, I have to turn it on and go to bed. But this was one of the series that I remember reading and 
when I started buying books for myself, I think it was probably the first, like the first couple books that I bought for myself to start my collection because I loved this series so much. I've reread it multiple times already, but I just love it so much. And that is The Brides of Gall Gallatin County by Miss Tracy Peterson. Why did I, I always thought it was Gallatin country, but it's county. I should probably learn how to read. <laughs> but I just, this series holds a very special place in my heart. I love this series so much. I love it. I love it so much. So this is definitely one that I'm going to reread in the books. I'm sorry, I'm like sidetracked. Those books include A Promise to Believe in, A Love to Last Forever, and A Dream to Call My Own. And I just... Can we talk about this, these covers though? Like they're just so beautiful. But you'll probably see them in a couple of my other videos. I have a couple videos planned. I'm so stinking excited. I just have to like actually film, which is a lot harder than you think it is, especially with this weather. It's making me <laughs> so. And then being sick on top of it just did not help at all. But this is definitely a series that I want to reread and curl up and just visit Gallatin County again and just, ah, ah, I love that, I love that, I love that, yeah. The next and last series and last books that I will be talking about that I want to reread tonight and or today or now um, is also another series by Tracy Peterson. But it's um, The Broadmoor Legacy by Tracy Peterson with Judith Miller. So they are co-authored. And this is another series that I just... I love it. This is another one that I read. Like, I went to the... I remember going to the library again with my grandma. We did that a lot. Good memories. But there was a time where I literally, like, checked out 16 books. She's like, you're never going to be able to read them. And I think quite a few of them were series by Tracy Peterson. I was like, yes, I will, Grandma. I'm fine. I'll be able to read them all. And I did. And I read them within, like, the two-week period. It helps when you don't have a life. So you can just read all day. And, like, you don't have friends who want to hang out with you. So you can just read all day. I remember this was another... See, again, sidetracked. Why? I it just, I don't know. <sighs> Focus. <laughs> this was one of the series that I remember reading and absolutely loving. And I currently just have this collection. So the books are A Daughter's Inheritance, An Unexpected Love, and A Surrendered Heart. And I loved the characters. I loved the, like, connection, the family connection. And I just absolutely loved it. So I have it in the collection form right now. And I've, and I've actually tried to reread it a couple times because I love it. But I literally, I get to the first book. I'll finish the first book. Like I'm pretty sure you can still see where I ended because the bookmark was in it for so long. Oh, BT Dubs, guys. Found another bookmark seat. Yeah. It's on an unexpected love because I finished book one, but just I couldn't read the other ones. I don't know, something about collections just make it so hard for me. So I am currently trying to find these books. I bought book one and book three, so I'm trying to find an unexpected love so that I can have them in separate form because I prefer to read in separate form. But when I finally get them, I'm going to be rereading them in separate form, and I'm so thick and excited. Yes! 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 Speaking of having collections to separate books, I have officially, well, I guess it's kind of like unofficial because I'm not really going to 
stick to it, stick to it. Well, I'm, I'm going to try to, at least. I have put myself on a book buying ban type thing. I will only be buying books to finish series that I need to finish on my shelves because I bought some Mary Connolly books. I bought a total of four of her series and I two of them came complete and then two of them came, came with book one and book two. So I need to get book three for both of the series and I've read all of them except for two. I've read them so I'm not in a hurry right now to reread them. I want to at some point but I want to get the rest of the series before I read them again because I like to binge read if the whole series is already out. I like to just shoot on through, dude. Yes. So I need to finish those two series. I need to get um, Avenue of Dreams series by Olivia Newton or Newport? Newport. I have book one and two and I need book three. And then I need a couple books by Marilee Farrell. Farrell, why can't I speak tonight? I need a couple books to finish off a series I have by her. And then I need a couple books to finish off a couple of the series I have by Tracy Peterson. But that also includes the fact that I have three books that I have in collection form. Three series that I have in collection form. Two of them I have by Tracy Peterson and one I have by Colleen Coble. I have The Broadmoor Legacy by Tracy Peterson. Then I have The Yukon Quest by Tracy Peterson. And then I have The Mercy Falls Collection by Colleen Coble. And I just need to get them in separate form. <laughs> because one, it's taking up a ridiculous amount of space on my bookshelves. And like I have other things that I need to put on there than this collection that is this big that I'm never going to read in one setting. So if I get them in three separate books, I know that I'll pick them up more often than I would a collection. So I'm currently on a book buying ban other than the books that I need to finish off the series so that I can finish them and read them and things like that. And I think that I'm going to try and make sure and push myself until March. So pretty, like I've already bought books um, in January, so I think really it's going to be focusing on February and not buying any books that don't finish off a series, if that makes sense. So that is what I'm going to be trying to do. I just thought of it like last week, I think. Well, no, not even, I think it was a couple days ago. I don't even know. So I couldn't put it in my um, last video because I didn't think about it. You know, I didn't really actually sit down and try to think things through before I did the video because after I posted it, I thought of so many other things. And that's just typical Alicia. So yeah, I am currently on a February, especially book buying ban, and then we'll see. I'll reevaluate it in March. So we'll see how it goes. So once I get the separate versions of the Broadmoor Legacy, I have a total of, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them in the frame. Hold on. We're struggling here. Help. 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 All right. I don't think this is any better. Who? Who? Guys, this is free entertainment right here. Oh, sweet glory. All right. All right. Woo! Okay, hold on. All right. I don't know what kind of framing we got since I can't see. So, yeah. 13 books that I want to reread, at least for now. So I want to, <laughs> to try to reread, at least for now. 13 books and I am very very excited. I have so many other books on my shelves that haven't been read yet so I don't know why I'm focusing on rereading at the moment but I can already kind of feel myself getting into a little bit of a reading slump. I don't think this weather is helping either and being sick on top of it just like I'm just a strange duck. You think I'd be focused on reading more and pounding at more books but I'm just not. 
so I can kind of feel myself just getting into a little bit of a reading slump and I don't like it because it's only like the second week of January and I just can't afford that. So I'm going to keep pushing and push out of it because I can do this. I got this guys. I got this. <gasps> yes. So I have those 13 plus like the hundred other books that I've never read sitting on my shelves because again I've added a couple more whoops that is why book buying ban is in order for February so I can try to catch up a little bit on the books on my shelves but I've done good so far like I've already started and put a tiny little dent in my reading challenge this month and they've all been books that I haven't read yet so I'm very very excited I'm doing good so far, guys. I got that. This almost feel like safety net type thing. Because I know that if I'm in a reading slump that I can pick up a book that I've already read and really enjoyed. Read that and then I'm normally pretty good and I'm back into like, give me everything. So I think these are here to ensure that I don't get into reading, like really long reading slumps throughout the year. So I'm excited to read them, but also read books that I've never read before and see what else I want to reread throughout the year and even into 2019. This was a ridiculously long video because I sat and ranted and raved and what else is new? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as off the wall and crazy as it is. And let me know in the comments below which books you are wanting to reread this year. Is there anything that you reread every single year? Or is there just something that caught your fancy in 2017 that is a must reread? And maybe it's a must read for me. You can go ahead and check out my blog for the love of Christian fiction.blogspot.com where I post every Friday. And you can also follow me on Instagram for the love of Christian fiction where I post whenever I can. But I am still very active on there. And you can also check out all my other links. They'll be in the description box below. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.